We are the heterozygotes, and we are going to be explaining sex influenced inheritance versus sex limited inheritance. Okay, so sex influenced inheritance is a phenomenon in which an allele can be recessive in one sex and it can be dominant in the opposite sex. Um, this is different from sex limited, which is controlled by alleles found on the sex chromosome. However, with sex influenced inheritance, the trait is controlled by a pair of alleles on the autosomal chromosomes. Um, these are pairs 1 through 22. And the phenotypic expression is influenced by the presence of a certain hormone. This can be estrogen, testosterone, progesterone. They are all influenced um, each sex. So it just depends on the hormone. And it is also can be solved by a monohybrid cross. All right, so our example of a sex-influenced trait is the made-up trait of spottedness. So in uh, the Punnett square, the capital H represents non-spottedness, while the lowercase h represents spottedness. So spottedness is influenced by the levels of testosterone inside the body. So obviously in a male, there are higher levels of testosterone, and in the female, there are lower levels. So in the Punnett square, a true breeding uh, capital H would be non-spotted, and a true breeding lowercase h would be spotted in uh, both uh, sexes. The differences come in when it's a heterozygote. So in a male, a heterozygote would be spotted because of the higher levels of testosterone, and in a female, the heterozygote would be non-spotted because of the lower level of testosterone. So as an example of the probability, if we wanted to do a spotted male, he would have a three in four chance of having a spotted male by uh, one in two chance of having a male in general, which would give us a three in eight chance of having a spotted male versus a one in four chance of having a spotted female by the one in two chance of having a female in general, which would give us a one in eight chance of having a spotted female. Sex limited inheritance. Sex limited traits has to do with X and Y chromosomes. For instance, females are homogametic and males are heterogametic. Not only do they carry genes that determine male and female traits, but also those for some other characteristics as well. This can impact phenotype and genotype. Oh, an example for genotype would be the mitochondrial DNA. The mitochondrial DNA only gets passed down on the mother's side. So as you see, the male has his mother's mitochondrial DNA, but it does not get passed down. And as you can see, all of the mother's offspring has her mitochondrial DNA. So these two females will carry on their mitochondrial DNA. And then the three males, their mitochondrial DNA stops right here because these females will carry on their mitochondrial DNA to their offspring. And then for a phenotype, we have dimorphism. Dimorphism is pretty much a phenotypic variation in male and female. As you can see in the elephant seal, the male is much bigger, broader, bigger nose, and the female is smaller, shorter, stubbier nose, a lot happier. And the reason for this is because the male the bigger they are and stronger and can just protect better, it attracts females because they want his genes to carry on. And then we have the peacock. The peacock is very flamboyant with its feathers and it's only in the male. The females are pretty bland looking, not much going on. And the more flamboyant the peacock is, the better chance he has of attracting a female so he can pass on his genes to the next generation. And then we have the anglerfish. This right here is the female. Very big, scary looking. And then this right here is the male. 
The male is very tiny. It's pretty much only used in the wild. It's a, attaching to a female, injecting the sperm, carrying on the genes, and then being absorbed so it pretty much goes away. So in conclusion, we have our sex influence, which is determined by autosomal genes expressed differently in males and females. And we have our sex limited, which is encoded by autosomal genes expressed only in one sex. The similarities that they both have are they're both sex linked, they're both autosomal, and they use monohybrid crosses. The differences are ex sex influence is expressed in both male and female, but it has a higher penetrance in one of the sexes. And sex limited has, they're expressed in only one, and the other one has zero penetrance in it. And it's also X-linked. That's it. Oh, is that exactly? Mm -hmm. Yeah.